Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. Uh, my name is Khaldun Azhari. I'm a former president. I'm a member of Professional Activities Committee who organized this uh, press conference. And today I, would, I will moderate this uh, event. And our guest speaker today is Ambassador Temuruz, Temuraz uh, Leva Lehava, and he's ambassador of Georgia, uh, the country that is playing very important uh, situational important role these days uh, with the war going on in Ukraine. And the ambassador, uh, will, will, the ambassador will tell us about the impact of this war in his country and his insights on the future course of event and how it would uh, be solved if, if that's a possibility. And the uh, ambassador is one of the very uh, very unique ambassadors in Japan. He speaks very well Japanese. So today the event will be, uh, he will speak in Japanese. And our uh, interpreter, Mary, Mary Joyce, will, uh, will interpret into English. And the session will be for uh, one hour, of course. And he will speak for about half an hour. Uh, ambassador is uh, w well uh, versed in Japanese affairs. So the event will not be only on the uh, wars. It will be on culture and on peace times and on good times coming ahead uh, between uh, the two countries. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like also to remind you to turn off your the, the to the mode to the manner mode of your phone, so we are not disturbed during the event. Uh, without further ado, we would like to start the event. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ուգես անմի բիտ, պիրվել ռիկշիմ սուրս մատլով ագադագի խադոտ հոնի զիևիս ուզուլն է գոպիս տույստա տասրեպիս տույս։ I would like to thank you for organizing and attending to this event. Ասև է մինդա վիսարգել լոշ են թխոյիտ դա Սայլչոս թանամ շոմլեպս in addition, I would like to thank embassy colleagues who are here today with me for their tireless dedication. I would like to mention that our embassy, regardless of any kind of circumstance, is always strategically promoting Georgian culture in Japan. Dres Rodesats Shirat, Gues Misitwam Gradoba, Anu Sustainability, Susar Nishnorum, Soret Kultura, Da Traditia, Romelmats, Saukunebis, Manzizes, Hwadaswa, Kamutsuevis, Muhedavat, Chenam de Moachzia, Aris Soret, Gradobis, Namduli, Symbolo. Today, when sustainability is often mentioned, I would like to point out that the culture and traditions that have been inherited to us despite countless challenges over the centuries is true symbol of sustainability. Martlat sakartvelosa da Japonia shoris kulturam kulturul makavshirma chuentvis tsarmoudgenlad mnishnolovani sargebeli moitana da ereb shoris tpili gantskoba chamoagaliba. Indeed, the cultural connection between Georgia and Japan has brought us incredibly important benefits and created a strong bond among the nations. And this kind of relationship is an essence to any kind of cooperation, and it is something that will benefit future generations. So everybody, I made the remarks in my mother tongue, mother tongue Georgian, because I wanted to demonstrate our core genetic element to the audience today. I have huge responsibility to pass it on to my children, just as my ancestors did. Now with the help of Mary San, thank you Mary today, I will proceed to the main part of my message in Japanese, 
which is my working lang language here in Japan and is also an important part, part of my uh, background. では日本語であの始めたいと思います。ちょっとパ,、so、like、パネルも用意しますので、少しお待ちください。We have some panels to display, so we'll just get them set up first. 早速、日本語に公職という言葉があります。こちら、このように書きます。それは色ごとを好むという意味です。人間は古来より色を好む傾向がありますが、それは物事の正しい判断を阻害する要因にもなりうることも知られております。また偏った見方で物事を見ることを色眼鏡を通して見るという表現で表します。There is a word in Japanese which is displayed here on the panel, koshoku, which in this context means to like colorful things. Humans have since ancient times had the tendency to be attracted to colors, to colorful things. However, this factor is also known to be a hindrance when making correct judgments of such things also. In addition, when things are being viewed from a biased perspective, this is known or is expressed as looking through colored glasses. この紙を持って私や周りを見たりしてください。今、皆さんに行き渡っている赤い紙があると思いますけれども、えー、これで見てください。えー、オンラインの方はあのこれで画面に赤いフィルターをかけたので、えー、これで色が変わると思います。外したりつけたりすると、物事は全然違うように見えます。つけているときには、世界の本当の色は、見ることはできませんこの紙は物事の整合性を確かめるために見るにはとても便利な道具ですきっと日本の方だったらこれを小学校とかの時に勉強に使った方もそういう経験もあるんじゃないでしょうかしかし色を好む世の中ではどうしても自分の都合のいい色を,色を選んで見たくないものを見ないためにそれを使いがちな嫌いがありますそしてそれは大きなトラブルのもとになることがございます。So to those of you here in the venue, a red uh, slip of transparent paper has been distributed. We would like to try to or invite you to use this paper to look at me and the surroundings here and then remove that. From those of you who are viewing online, the same red filter was also applied to the camera. So on the Zoom screen, you would have seen this as well. As you can see, things look very different when you are wearing this colored、uh, image or not. When, you're wearing, when you are wearing them, it is not possible for you to see the true colors which are appearing here in the world. This kind of translucent paper is a very useful tool to, to look at things to ensure that they are consistent. In fact, many of those of you who are Japanese, I'm sure, use these kinds of paper in your studies in the elementary school and so on as well. However, in this world that does indeed like colors, there is a tendency for people to inevitably pick a color that is convenient to them, that suits their purpose, and to use that color to avoid looking at that which they do not want to. And this can be a cause of significant trouble. これまで多くの国は、ロシアを経済上の利益や情報戦略に基づく一種の色眼鏡を通して見てきたのではないでしょうか。それによってその危険性や他の国々が被ってきた害が見えなくなる、いわゆる水嫌いの状態になっていたのではないでしょうか。これまで先進国が行ってきたロシアに対する評価は、いわゆる希望的観測、つまりは色眼鏡を通した上での評価だったのではないでしょうか。残念ながら人間はしばしば普遍なる事実よりも目先の利益を忖度してしまう嫌いがあります。Many countries could have said to have viewed Russia through a kind of colored glasses based on economic interests and information strategies. This has or could have led to a state of a form of blindness where, whereby they could not see the dangers and the harms that other countries had suffered as a result to this. 
I believe that the evaluations made of Russia by advanced countries until now have been based on what could be considered wishful thinking. In other words, looking through such colored glasses. Unfortunately, human beings often have a tendency to discern or to base uh, their actions upon immediate interests rather than universal facts. Sate, Watashi, Korimade, Zutto, Koyo, Agetikta, Russia, no Kyo in Kanshte, Seka no Kunigunga, Yoyaku, Jikan Srio, Nina Tikimashta, Korimade, Varevareva, Ukraina to Doyo, Yujiga, Te Karadeva, Osoito, Kazuoku no. 警報を求めないでいただきたいと思います。ロシアの脅威に関しては残念ながら、その無慈悲で残虐極まりない非人道的な侵略に対して、ようやく世界が行動に出るようになりました。the rest of the world is now finally only just now coming to realize what we have been saying all along about the threat of Russia, which we have been voicing for uh, until now. Until now, like Ukraine, we have continued to sound numerous alarms that it will be too late once a contingency has already arisen. However, this has usually been met with statements such as, well, it's regrettable, but you have a particular history, don't you? or these kind of insincere words which turn a blind eye to the problem. Those who make statements such as that the United Nations is not functioning, I hope that they will at the least not attempt to hold us responsible. As for the Russian threat, unfortunately, its ruthless, brutal and inhumane aggression has finally led the world now to take strong action. ウクライナの支援を続けている国々に感謝を申し上げたいと思います。また何より最前線でロシアと戦うウクライナの人々に対して感謝をしなければなりません。2008年にソ連崩壊後のロシアとして初めて侵略に踏み切ったのがまさに
、外交関係は断交したものの、大きな衝突がなく、ロシアとは経済、文化、観光などの面では通常の交流を続けられてきているのは、ジョージアがこれまでの歴史の中で培ってきた英知と忍耐力の賜物だと思います。Since even before the invasion began, we had been calling on Japanese officials to support Ukraine. We, on the Georgian side specifically, since、uh, after Russia's aggression against us in 2008, have been vocal internationally about the nature of Russian aggression. One thing I would like to emphasize is that we, Georgia, have continued to seek peaceful resolution of the problem with Russia through taking a humanitarian approach. We have also not called for an international blockade or shut out against Russia, believing that the issue can be resolved in a developmental manner. In a word, we have demonstrated an extremely balanced and developed diplomatic stance. Although diplomatic relations have been broken since 2008, there have been no major clashes, and we have been able to continue normal exchanges with Russia in terms of the economy, culture, and tourism. I believe that this is a result of the wisdom and the resilience that Georgia has developed over our history. さて、ウクライナとジョージアは伝統的に友好国同士であります。同じソ連の構成国でありながらもヨーロッパ志向を持ち、また自由を愛する国同士です。EU や NATO 加盟を目指す方針も共通しております。そして同じロシアの脅威を経験してきたからこそ、侵略,侵略の前から私は日本でも立ち上がらなければならないと責任を感じました。その時はまだ日本での世論や政治的な方針は現在ほどはっきりとは決まっておりませんでしたが、在日ジョージア大使館は各国の大使館に呼びかけをして、14カ国の大使らでウクライナに対する連帯を示す運動を行いました。こちらがその映像です。画面をご覧ください。Ukraine and Georgia have a tradition of friendship between the two countries. While they were both our countries or part of the Soviet Union, they share a European mentality and are freedom loving countries. We also share the same policy of seeking EU and NATO membership, and particularly because of having both experienced the same Russian threat. Even before the invasion, I felt a responsibility that we had to stand up here in Japan. At that time, political opinion,、uh, public opinion and political policy in Japan were not as clearly defined as they are today. However, the Georgian embassy in Japan called upon the embassies of other countries to join us in a campaign to demonstrate solidarity with Ukraine.、Uh, and ambassadors from 14 countries joined the action, which you can see in the video now. これを行ったのは2月24日で。ロシアによる侵略が始まる数時間前のことでした。外交上、このような統一のメッセージを発することは、各国の政府と確認を取るなど、とても複雑,な複雑で慎重な判断プロセスを要します。だから、この場に参加した大使館の方は、まさにそれぞれのリーダーシップを見せた外交官の鏡とも言えます。この場をお借りしてウクライナ大使と共に当時参加したアイスランド、アメリカ、英国、カナダ、サンマリノ、ノルウェー、ブルガリア、ポーランド、モルドバ、ラトビア、リトアニア、ルーマニアの大使館、およびこの様子を報道された多くの日本のメディアにお礼を申し上げます。また、この活動に対しては、在日欧州連合代表部の大使からも、お電話をいただき、お礼とご理解のお言葉をいただきました。This action was held on February the 24th, just several hours before the Russian invasion began. In diplomacy, resonating with one clear unified message like this requires a very complex and careful decision making process, including, of course, confirming with each respective government. Therefore, the embassies and indeed the representatives who participated in this occasion, I believe, are true diplomats demonstrating their respective leadership. I would like to take this opportunity to thank both the Ukrainian ambassador and those who joined the action、uh, that is, Iceland, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, San Marino, Norway, Bulgaria, Poland, Moldova, 
Latvia, Lithuania, and Romania, as well as the many Japanese media who reported this event on the day. I also received a phone call uh, about this from the ambassador of the delegation of the European Union to Japan, who thanked me and expressed their understanding uh, for this uh, position also. 私はその後、日本のある国会議員に、今、ウクライナが獲得している国際的な支持基盤を、日本の近隣における有事の際に、どのように形成したらいいのかと聞かれました。一つ言えるのは、今、日本の動きがこれまでにないほど世界中から注目されております。今日の、えー、アメリカのバイデン大統領の訪問、各国の首脳の訪問を見てもそれがよくわかります。現在の、えー、だからこそ、今の日本の行動、私がその時にお答えしたのは、今の日本の行動がや判断が大事だと、それによって有事の際の支持が集められるどころか、ウクライナに対する支持を見せることで、有事を回避さえできるとお答えいたしました。I was subsequently asked by a certain member of the Japanese parliament how the international support base now gained by Ukraine could be formed in the same way in the event of a contingency in Japan's surrounds. One thing I can say is that now more than ever before, Japan's movements are attracting attention from all over the world. Seeing today, of course, the visit of United States President Biden and other、uh, leaders to Japan, recent visits also, I think makes this even more evident. That is why, in my response to this question, I said, Japan's current actions and decisions are important. Not only will this help gather support in the event of a contingency, showing support for Ukraine now can even help to avoid such a contingency occurring. さて、戦争開始からちょうど3ヶ月が経とうとしておりますが、その間、すでに多くの事柄が変わることになりました。これまで考えられなかった地政学上の大きな動きが見受けられます。具体的には EU とのパートナーシップにおいて連合トリオを構成するジョージア、ウクライナ、モルドバは EU の加盟申請を行い、またフィンランドとスウェーデンは NATO への加盟申請を行いました。一方で多くの国はロシアの依存度を下げる中長期的な計画を打ち出しました。So now it is almost three months that have passed since the start of the war, and during this period, many things have already changed. We are seeing major geopolitical developments that were perhaps previously unthinkable. Concretely, Georgia, Ukraine, and Mol Moldova, which together form the associated trio in partnership with the EU, have applied for EU membership, while Finland and Sweden have applied for NATO membership. At the same time, each of these countries has also put forward medium and long term plans to reduce their dependence on Russia. ここで何を言いたいかというと、最初に申し上げてきた、世界はロシアやその他の物事を自分の都合という色を取り除いて、しっかりとその実態を見ることができるようになったということです。我々が2024年に申請をするはずだった EU 加盟はこれだけ早まりました。繰り返すようですが、できることなら、このような有事のある前に、それができていたらよかったと思います。So what I am intending to express is, as I said at the beginning, the world is now able to firmly see Russia and other things for what they are, having removed the colors of their own convenience in this way. Our accession as Georgia to the EU, for which we were supposed to apply in 2024, has been、uh, thus accelerated. And if I could repeat, I wish that we had been able to do these things before such a contingency had occurred. So, Georgia, I would like to ask you to take a look at this panel, which demonstrates Georgia from a geographical I would like to ask you to take a look at this panel, which demonstrates Georgia from a geographical perspective. ワインや多くの文化が発祥した地という観点でも、ロシア国民にとって特に憧れの強い地でもあります。ジョージアは EU と同じ価値観を
持ち、ロシアとの経験が深い点でも、EU 側に多大なる貢献ができると考えております。私たちはロシアから、私たちに対する脅威がどうであれ、EU や NATO への加盟を目指す軌道を変えることはありません。それは国民が長い歴史の中で見出し,見出してきた普遍なるものだからです。だからこそ、西洋のパートナー諸国にも、同じような熱量で、私たちを信頼あるパートナーとして選び、今回の加盟申請のように、他の物事も前倒しで判断いただきたいと思います。もちろん今年でジョージアが外交関係樹立から30周年を迎える、我々にとってアジアで最も重要なパートナー国である日本に対しても、大いに期待しております。Apart from being a strategic point connecting East and West, you can see that the location of Georgia is also a very attractive gateway across the mountain range for Russia. As the birthplace of wine and many other cultural aspects, it is also a place of great aspiration for the Russian people. We believe that Georgia shares the same values as the European Union and can make a significant contribution to the EU. Including in terms of our deep experience with Russia. We will not change our trajectory, trajectory aiming toward EU and NATO membership, whatever the threats against us coming from Russia. This is because this is something universal which our people have found through our long history. It is for this reason that we hope our Western partner countries will choose us or see us as a reliable partner with the same dedicated enthusiasm and take decisions on things, including our application for EU membership, in、uh, a swift manner as well. Of course, we also have great expectations for our most important partner in Asia, Japan, as this year we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations.最後にジョージアはこのように領土が今も20パーセント占領されております。そしてその地域は日に日に動くいわゆるハウ境界線で拡大しようとしております。こちらの動画をご確認ください。And finally,、uh, 20% of Georgia's territory remains still occupied even today, as、uh, displayed on this、uh, slide. Furthermore, on a daily basis in these regions, there are attempts to continue to expand these so called crawling boundaries, crawling borders. And we can see on the video of this here. 占領された地域では人道上とても厳しい状況になっております。These occupied territories remain in extremely difficult humanitarian situation. こちらはその画像ですが、えー、いかに、えー、占領された地域が時間とともに衰退して、痕跡が、いろんなものの痕跡が消されていく様子がわかるでしょう。こ,これから世の中を前に進めるのであれば、このような状況は決して無視されてはなりません。なぜなら、この状況が存在する限り、世界は発展していると言えないからでしょう。So, this image I am sure requires no explanation. However, you can see how, in these regions, as there is this consistent pushing of the borders, there is this、uh, ongoing situation there with things also being disappeared or erased in this nature as well. If we are to progress the world forward, this situation must not be ignored. Because as long as it continues to exist, it cannot be said indeed that the world is actually developing. Okay, so I would like to receive. Thank、that. you very much, Ambassador, for your presentation and for bringing these maps.、Uh, yeah, this、uh, is handmade.、Maps. My embassy staff、yes. made it. <laughs> very good. It's always、uh, very good to have、Thank、some. You. Thank you. I would like to open the floor.
uh, for questions and answers. If you have any question, please raise your hand and proceed to the front mic there. All right. All right, let me. Yes, go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. あの、いわゆる改革国籍の共和国の大統領を名乗る人物がですね、今年の7月に独立へと今してきました。ロシアへの編入を等住民投票を計画していると I'm from NHK. I have a question about South Ossetia. Uh, the so-called declared president of this region has said that this year they're planning to conduct a referendum in the area, uh, area in the region as well to talk about also part of Russia there. I would like to ask, first of all, if you believe that such a thing would be realistic, that uh, such a vote would indeed be held in South Ossetia, and if that is the case, what the response of the Georgian government would be? まさにその起こる前に阻止パートナー国と そのために私たちはそういう uh, thank you for your question. Indeed, our role, our job as diplomats is to prevent such a thing from happening before it reaches that point. Uh, any efforts or uh, statements in regards of having an election or seeking to become part of Russia, indeed, as a fact, they have no legal basis to conduct these kinds of uh, steps or actions. And we, as diplomats, together with our partner countries, have the role of conveying to them that if, indeed, they were to take these kind of actions, they would only become more isolated and at more of a disadvantage as well. We need to make sure that those people concerned that this is uh, strongly conveyed to them so that they can remove these colored glasses from the way that they are uh, looking at the situation. This is our job as diplomats and also together with our international partner countries as well to ensure that there is this strong message to continue to send the message that such actions would not be for their benefit and to prevent this uh, from before it occurs. Thank you. I have a question online. Uh, from Rocky Swift of Reuters. He asked, uh, US President Biden has just said that he supports Japan becoming a permanent member of the UN Security Council. What is your view on this? Thank you. Um, this is a very uh, new topic, I guess, so I really definitely need to check with my ministry. But as soon as I find out and we have our position, uh, I would I would like to announce it. Uh, but for, for us, for Georgians, Japan is our really important partner which, who we share core values. So I think we have to promote each other and that is the fundament to our uh, international uh, cooperation. And in the international arena so far, including UN, we have a very successful uh, cooperation with Japan. We're both really happy about it. So I think we're going to continue uh, such kind of path. Thank you. Next question, please. 
All right, let me ask. You said that Georgia seeks peaceful solu solution or resolution to the situation in uh, Ukraine, taking in consideration uh, humanitarian, humanitarian approach with Russia. Uh, could you please elaborate on that? Do you mean that uh, uh, you are against the NATO uh, supporting Ukraine by weapons or uh, by continuing of the war? And there are many statements uh, by many politicians, especially uh, in Russia, that uh, the NATO is going to fight the Russian occupation or invasion, according to their uh, words, uh, until the last Ukrainian. This kind of you know, uh, liter literature war is going on. So what is your uh, explanation about the peaceful solution? Thank you. あの、例えばあの、ジョージアの問題とロシアのウクライナの問題を、ま、一番その え、相手がそれを壊そうとしてきたわけですから、十分あの反撃という点で見れば、ま、合理的なんじゃないかと考えられます。first uh, of all, the approach in regards to Georgia's situation cannot best be applied directly onto the situation of Ukraine as well. Uh, previously in the speech it was replying to the policy towards Russia in regards to Georgia's situation. However, it's it, because there are, of course, differences in terms of timing and aspects. Georgia's policy cannot just be completely duplicated in the situation of how to uh, resolve the situation in Ukraine. However, in regards to NATO's support for Ukraine in these current circumstances as well, at the very foundations, when we consider about how indeed to end this war, we need to keep in mind the important points of the respect and protection of the rule of law, territorial integrity, and sovereignty as well. These are are indeed the things which the other side has been trying to destroy. Therefore, ensuring the respect and the upholding of these is very much important. And indeed, seeing it as a response to those acts, it can be seen in a logical manner. Talking about resolution, peaceful resolution for Ukraine. I'm sorry, I misunderstood your answer. I see. Yeah, sorry. Next question, please. <laughs> All right, let me ask. There are many issues we can come. Yes, you, you have a question, please go ahead. Tabitha,失礼します。NHKの原です。あの今回のウクライナ情勢も2008年のジョージア。に対するロシアの軍事侵攻もそうだと思うんですけれども、あの、
Go and on. In, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. in regards to the current situation surrounding Ukraine and looking, of course, at the situation on the military actions against Georgia by Russia in 2008 as well, these are acts of aggression or invasion by a nuclear weapon state indeed. And therefore, the, or a significant challenge or question now for the international community is how to prevent such actions to be taken by a country which does possess nuclear weapons. When we consider, of course, the perspectives looking from Japan, the differences in the different situation, but these military expansion of military powers by a significant military power and nuclear weapon state in the international context as well, would like to ask your personal perspectives or ideas about what can be done in order to, to respond to that, to prevent that, and so on. あ、そのロシアやその他の国のそういった核とかそういう脅威は少なくてもなくなっていないという意味になります。ジョージアのこのような2つの地域、アブハジアとスキンワリ、南オセチアは平和を示すための一種の指針のようなものだと思います。uh, thank you for your question. This is indeed an extremely difficult question which is not easy to resolve. But seeking out that resolution is exactly what we must do uh, at the moment. At the very least, uh, from my perspective, as long as such a situation as we can see on the map here exists on this planet, and we have countries such as Russia and others with nuclear weapons or other threats are uh, still persisting, then we can indeed see that uh, well, the situation is uh, continuing to be uh, serious. If we look at these two regions of Abkhazia and so-called South Ossetia, we can really see them as, as a symbol for how, how peace can be considered or how we can consider the nature or the state of peace in the world as well. If the situation in these two particular regions can be restored, that means, uh, we can indeed demonstrate that, that is, this is a peaceful world. So resolution of these particular regions is indeed one way to contribute or to uh, have a role in eradicating these overall threats as well. All right, let me fill in by asking another question. Uh, how is the impact of uh, COVID and also to some extent the war in Ukraine, the situation uh, on the situation of tourism and economy of your country? Thank you. Um, so I'll just answer in English. Well, a very good question, thank you. Uh, we really heavily relied because of our natural uh, because of our tur touristic res uh, resource, uh, we heavily relied on uh, tourism. So it is, it is really not have been good, but, uh, but now, nowadays it's been uh, coming back little by little. And, uh, you know, we have to look forward. We have to look forward for new opportunities and chances all the time. So, uh, yes, we are working really hard on it. Thank you. All right, we still have uh, 15 minutes to go. Uh, if anybody would like to ask, we are still open uh, for questions, also online. Uh, in the meantime, let me ask again. Okay. <laughs> it's like interview. Uh, how do you see Japan's uh, economic relations with uh, your country in general and with this part of Europe in particular? You, you are like your countries, including I think Armenia and Azerbaijan, all of you have unique situation. Mm -hmm. You are situated in the, in the kind of North West Asia, mm -hmm. so bordering Russia and the other countries, the Black Sea. Uh, I feel this is kind of unique area, unique region with its very rich culture and the nat natural beauty and the uh, uh, people heritage. 
So uh, do you think like the image of this uh, area is, is still uh, as good as before or can be restored if there was some damage because of the war, for example? Thank you. あの、あると思うんですけれども、ま、一つ ビジネスのやりやすいランキングで、ところであります。また、特にそれの代わりとして存在感を発揮できるんじゃないかというふうに思います。これがまず一点。でもう一点、エネルギー関係です。日本とジョージアは、ちょうどえ昨年発行しました。え、さらに日本の企業の場合はジョージアの場合ア
Not only this, but considering its position as a gateway between East and West, it uh, is gaining great attention from Japanese businesses in recent times also. Georgia enjoys our free trade agreements with many different countries, which is also something very attractive. And it is a base for this kind of transportation and logistics, which is something which can be of great appeal for Japan as well. Particularly as we are seeing now that the business environments in and around Russia are perhaps somewhat ambiguous or could even be said to be at a higher risk, then uh, Georgia is well positioned to be an alternative for this as well. And this is indeed somewhere where we would like to uh, demonstrate our presence even more from now. That is the first point in regards to this. The second is regards to energy. Uh, Japan and Georgia, the year before last, came to a, a joint agreement. Also, many different Japanese companies are starting to pay attention or to be active in this field as well. Given that Georgia has a positive relationship with both Azerbaijan and Armenia, this is also a reason for which many Japanese companies are choosing Georgia as a hub for this purpose as well. For example, I believe it was two years ago that uh, TEPCO made the decision to invest in uh, Georgia in regards to a decarbonization program as well. Georgia is a country which is very rich in water resources. So when we see, for example, the fields of hydropower or also production of uh, green hydrogen, point of great attention from now, uh, it has very high potential. It also has a great track record or success in regional co uh, coordination. So we see, for example, not only looking at uh, transportation between Azerbaijan and Turkey, but also uh, c making connections in regards to import and export of energy with these two countries as well. So we see uh, playing the role of connecting the East and West in regards to energy production and in relation to decarbonization as well. It holds very high potential, which is something that we hope to be able to uh, introduce or share even more with Japan from now as well. This connects to the point mentioned at the beginning uh, as well, that this is really the kind of things which can be seen now that the colors are being taken off and having a, a true vision of the overall situation. So we hope that the Japanese side will be able to accelerate various decisions in regards to this. Also looking at, for example, free trade with Georgia, that many more companies will be uh, deciding to invest in Georgia and we are having great expectations for more activity in this arena. Mm -hmm. コネクティビティという、あの、取り組みをやっていこうあの、and uh, one further point uh, touching on that keyword of connectivity of course Prime Minister Kishida has one as one of his policies the new capitalism and looking at how to envision the digital field as part of this as well last week we of course had the visit of the head of the EU to here in Japan and there was discussion about more connectivity initiatives uh, between Europe and Japan which includes also the Eastern Europe region uh, of which we are part Recently, the Georgian and Japanese digital agencies have also started various uh, joint initiatives as well. And we are seeing in the fields of digital communication and also innovation, this is indeed an area where the two countries can cooperate even more. This is a field in which Georgia has uh, invested great effort until now, and so we believe that this will also be uh, a field of great potential cooperation between the two countries. Thank you. All right, I think we still have five minutes you'd like to take advantage of this time available. Any more questions? We don't have anyone online. So let me ask again, sorry right. to <laughs> give it. Ambassador, you graduated from uh, Waseda University School of International Liberal Arts in September 2011. And uh, you also work wor with the uh, Kikoman Corporation before joining the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. You became consular in, in Tokyo and then ambassador in November 15, 
2021. Uh, this rich experience in Japanese uh, and uh, culture and business and diplomacy and even language, I, I think is unique in, in, in Japan where um, ambassadors can speak the language of the country that fluently to the point of holding press conference in Japanese. So what, what do you think this has, uh, uh, how can this, uh, how did th uh, this uh, uh, quality and qualification help you in doing business in Japan? Because uh, there is a lot of kind of misunderstanding or it's, they say it's hard to understand how, uh, what the Japanese sometimes uh, want uh, because their language is uh, indirect sometimes. Uh, in a positive way, of course. So, uh, w what is your impression about uh, Japan in general? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, uh, uh, maybe, maybe you translate and I answer in Japanese. あの、ま、質問の方、あの、すみません。ま、大使はあの、あの、することもまあ、誤解が良くあったり、そのような難しさも感じることもあると思うんですけれども、大使の日本での今までの経験、そしてまあ日本で活躍することについてのまあ印象などについてのコメントお願いします。まあ、日本の文化が非常に特殊なの
through this, of course, I'm able to communicate with many different people, uh, which can also help to support a bridging these kind of cultural gaps or differences between Japan and Georgia and contribute to making stronger communications and links between the two. Thank you. I received a question online from Pio D'Emilia. He's a co-chair of the PAC uh, committee, our committee. He asks, in 2008, Georgia was somehow encouraged to have an assertive approach to Russia. U.S. and Europe <coughs> would support uh, joining, uh, would, would support uh, Georgia in joining NATO and EU, but in the end, Sakal Chivili was left alone. And so the question is: Can you see any similarity in what is happening now in Ukraine? He's asking that uh, it seems like the NATO and uh, UA you abandoned Ukraine. That's what oh, I understand sure, from his sure, question. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, in the question. Thank you for the interesting question. Um, in the question, there was mentioned that uh, in the end, but we don't. We it's not the end for us. We we're continuing to fight against our problems, and it's still ongoing. And we believe that one day our problems will be solved. That is our approach. We continue fighting every day. I think, let me see if I have last question, nothing here, so. All right, I think we covered basically everything. Yes, thank you so And much. I would like to thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador, to come to a club and talk to us about the current affairs. And for that, we'd like to offer you one year honorary membership to our club. You can come anytime and enjoy our uh, facilities here. And we hope that uh, we can have you again sometime in the, in the good times and peaceful times. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Please uh, give a big hand to us. That wraps up our event. Have a nice evening. Thanks.